nervous system. You in this class, I will cover what is a neuron, what are the parts of a neuron, and I would also gave an overview of what is an action potential and what are the steps within an action potential. If you have a iPhone or a mobile device and if you have not already done so, I suggest you go to the App Store and search for grade 12 biology the nervous system inside that app I provide a series of course notes flashcards and quizzes um, that is related to this course in which you can review it when you are hanging out or when you are inside a bus or a sea train. This app is completely free and there's no additional charge to it. Note, it is completely free. So what is the loss, right? Another study aid that I greatly recommend is human anatomy and physiology course. This is an award-winning course that is only sold to medical professionals. I haven't heard of this course until I got into my second year of my biomedical engineering minor and it has helped me a great deal during my anatomy course. Now each of these lessons end with um, facts and revision tests with detailed solutions so you can reinforce your learning and you can analyze which parts of the course are you um, the weakest. It also provides simple explanations and detailed um, pictures and other graphics that you can um, use it to learn more about the human body and would allow you to score higher in your biology exam. Now, um, this course when I bought it, uh, it's around $97. And uh, what happened is I talked with the um, the owner of this um, of this software and he agrees to partner up with me so that if you click on the link that I have on the description part of the of my YouTube video um, you would have the discounted price of $37 instead and that is $60 off. Whether you buy it or not, it's up to you, but I strongly suggest that you do buy it because it is a really, really good study aid and it will raise your marks during your exams. What are neurons? Well, neurons is a special type of cell that specializes in transmitting electrical and chemical signals throughout your body. Its overall structure consists of four major parts. Dendrites, cell body, axon, and the synapse. structure of the neuron. Dendrites carry signal from the other neurons that um, have their synapse attached to it 
to its own cell body. Dendrites actually looks like um, hair sitting uh, attaching to the cell body. So what happened is um, the other androids on Synapse, which I'm going to talk about later, they would attach to the dendrites of the current neuron and then in which the dendrites were attached to the cell body. The cell body is the central part of the neuron that consists of normal cell structures. The purpose of this is to maintain normal cellular functions. So it contains cell membranes, um, nucleus, and all of the parts that you could find in a normal cell. I would talk about the parts of a normal cell in another course. Now the axons is what happens at the exist at the other end of the cell body. The axon's job is to carry signal away from the cell body into the synapse. A special thing about the axons are that it is covered in myelin sheath that are made up of a special type of cells called the Schwann cells. In between of the Schwann cells of the myelin sheath lies a node in which the node is called the nodes of Ranvier. And what is so special about the Schwann cells and the nodes of Ranvier is that it would shorten the speed, uh, the duration in which the signal needs to go across the axon from the cell body into the synapse because the signals would propagate through the axons by jumping from the node of Renvier's in the axon and into the synapse. So instead of just merely traveling like a communication cable from one spot to another, it would jump in between, which it would shorten the, the time greatly when traveling from the cell 